Well, Shantae, after that walk where even adults, including myself, were tripping because of ditches and uneven ground, but that was enough to get the attention of state leaders and finally some help. I, th I think this area has been neglected for a very long time. The area State Representative Marie Levitt is referring to is unincorporated Pierce County, where in the Bethel School District, it's estimated that just 9% of all streets have sidewalks. We know that it's dark, the, the terrain is uneven, there's potholes everywhere, it's really hard to see, and cars are just flying by. That's impacting families with students who walk to school, especially for those parents whose jobs start early, leaving their kids to battle the streets alone. Last year, the district organized a walking protest to show state leaders just how bad some students have it. I joined in and spoke to parents. Even with officers out here with us, uh, plainly seen, there's still people speeding down the streets, almost hit us, things of that nature. Yeah. And this is what our students face, and they don't have necessarily reflector vests and flashlights or cop car lights, things of that nature. That was enough to get the attention of Representative Levitt, who then worked to get $10.5 million into the transportation budget to build more sidewalks in the district. The budget was signed by Governor Inslee two weeks ago. Sidewalks are expensive to, to do. The investment will pay for five of the 10 miles that have been called priority areas by school leaders. Along B Street particularly, we have um, the main um, part of our population um, coming to school on that route. There's no sidewalks. Representative Levitt calls the funding, which is one of the largest investments towards sidewalks the area has seen in decades, just the beginning. And I'm glad that we were able to secure those dollars this year to, to finally, you know, come up to speed of where we should have been, um, I think, that where the county should have been years ago. Now, I'm told that $10.5 million in funding will hit WashDOT in just a couple of months in July. And then shortly after, construction to build these sidewalks here along B Street will start. For now, reporting live in Spanaway, Angela Cockaday, King 5 News.